He is not a stranger. He is your big brother. Kwame Adu. Mixing G. Mixing Gospel. All right. Keep the praise on. Keep the praise on. My big family. I just want to tell you, keep the praise on once again. Let's keep this praise on. We can't stop the praise. We can't leave the praise behind. We have to keep this praise on. So it's a blessing to come back to your studio, to come back on keep the praise on. This is Apostle Kwame Du. I'm here to remind you. I'm just here to remind you and tell you keep the praise on. Wherever you are, welcome on board. I'm saying on this program, God will see you through, through it all. You may have been through something, but God is seeing you through. What you're going through will give you a word to help you stay ahead. What you're going through will give you a word to let you stay ahead. Stay ahead of any challenge. Stay ahead of any difficulty. Man of God, you carry victory. If you know what you carry, you will live up to that. You carry victory. You carry the power of the Lord. You carry the glory of our Lord, of our Father. Keep on, keep on. Nothing must stop you the way. Move on and keep breathing. You breathe in the power of the Lord. You breathe in the be the goodness of the Lord. You breathe in the power. You breathe in the mercies of the Lord. His mercies are renewed for you each and every day. Every day we come and receive something new from the Lord. So we are breathing something new. You know what? You don't breathe the same oxygen over and over. It comes out and you breathe in another oxygen. So God will always give you something new. I just said this morning uh, that you not know, because we know the Bible cover to cover. That is how come we have the word. But we have the word because every day when we come before the Lord, He gives us something new. So it's a continuous walk. It is not just a one day encounter, one day experience. Every time we come to the Lord and we receive a word from Him. You can know the Bible cover to cover, but you need to have the word from the Lord each and every day. So every day, if you're an apostle, if you're a bishop, if you're a man of God, a theologian, don't think you know the word. Just come to God and humble yourself and say, Lord, it's a new day. Give me the word. Even though you know theology, even though you know the Bible, even though you have studied the scriptures, just talk God and come before the Lord and say Lord give me the word give me the word and you need a word from the Lord take the word from God and step ahead you need the word to stay ahead child of God if you have the word you can do the rest use the word of God and march on with the word eat of the word anytime you step ahead because you have the word so boast in the fact that you have a word <laughs> and the word is Jesus, our Lord Christ Jesus, our salvation, our anchor, our redemption, our King and Lord. Oh, I have a Savior. Yeah, I could be going through something, but I have a Savior. I could be going through a challenge, but I have a comforter. I could be going through something I, I can't even describe, but I have a helper. You may be going through something, but you have God. You have the Lord Jesus Christ with you. You are not alone. God will take you on board. And God will help you out. My God will carry you on his wings. I want to ride on the wings of Jesus. I, I have not sat in a plane before. I have not sat in a plane before. But I want to ride on the wings of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, take me on your wings. <laughs> and help me move help me move I know I can walk but Lord help me move I know I can talk but Lord help me speak so I just want God to help me may the Lord help me may the Lord help me Papa if you don't help me I can't even talk if you don't help me I can't voice out even though you have a voice but if God doesn't help you how can you talk how can you open your mouth yeah, I don't take anything for granted. I'm not here because I'm a, I am an apostle. 
I'm, I'm not here because I know the word of God. I'm here by the grace of God. I'm here by the favor of God. I'm not here because of anything. Uh, yes, I shouldn't take anything for granted. It's a daily walk. You can win it in the morning and still miss it along the day, along the way. So I don't want to miss it along the way or by close of the day. I want to finish in, in awareness. I want to finish with expected end. So Lord, take me up and help me to finish my course. I want to finish with you. I want to start and end with you. It's not how best you start. It's not even how bad you start, but how well you end. And that is all my is. And Lord, end with us well. Uh, we are apostles. We are bishops. We are men of God, we are evangelists, we are teachers, we are pastors, we are prophets. But Lord, let it be made well with us. Uh, count us among your sons. I'm not a son of God just because I'm an apostle. But the Lord, I am praying that Lord, count me as one of your sons. I know I am your son. I believe in the fact that Jesus died for me and has gotten me a place. So nothing can take me off because Jesus has taken charge for me and has taken the dominion for me. And Jesus has given me a place because he told me he's going to prepare a place for me. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I know Jesus has given me a place. <laughs> so I'm a son of God. Uh, you are a daughter of the Lord. You are a mama. You are among the royal priesthood. You are chosen. You are called. Called unto the mercies and the goodness and the power of the Lord. Experience the touch of the Lord like never before. On every side, wherever you go, on any move that you make, every step that you take, go with the Lord. Go with the presence of the Lord. Carry the power of the Lord. Stand in that beauty. Stand in that glory. Shout in that victory. You carry a testimony. Run with it. You are on fire for the Lord. Stay on fire. Stay on fire. Stay on power. Stay on power. Stay in the favor. Stay in the favor. Stay in the blessing. Stay in the blessing. Don't walk away of the blessing. Don't walk away of your power. Child of God, run with it. Go with it and stand strong. Nothing will push you aside. Nothing will push you out of the way. Stand on your feet and take charge. Run. The Lord is with you. The Lord has set you on. Run with the power of the Lord. There is more you can do because you have the hand of God taking you up, taking you up and teaching you. The Holy Ghost is your comforter. So stay in the peace, stay in the peace. The Lord Jesus is your redeemer. So stay in the honor, stay in the honor, stay in the power, stay in the power. Child of God, don't move out of the goodness of the Lord. Don't taste of the goodness of the Lord and and turn your back. Just carry on, carry on. I don't know what you're facing, but I just want to tell you, carry on. I just want to tell you, continue, continue. The Lord is watching. Your Jesus is not asleep. Your God is awake for your sake. Oh, I love that. God is awake for your sake. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being awake for my sake. Uh, thank you for being awake. Oh, Lord, take us up there. Take us on every step. Take us on every journey. Take us on anything that we do. Take us up. Take us up. Lord, help us out. Help us out. We are here because of you. Oh, I like this. We are here because of the Lord. We are here because of Jesus. We are here not because of our beauty, not because of our money, not because of anything, not because of the victory and the glory that we have found for ourselves. But we are here by the grace and mercies of the Lord. I'm here by the power of the Lord. And this power will manifest through me. And this power will go before me. And this power you will experience with me. May you experience the power that is in me. The power that is in the power of the Lord. That is in the blood of Jesus. The power. May you experience that power. Ah, experience it, experience it, experience it. 
Taste and see that the Lord is good. Ha, blessed are those who keep their trust in the Lord. Our trust is not in the things that we have. We need God and all those things. We need God. I was saying that at the time that I need God than my past. I need God than my failures. I need God than my troubles. I need God than my problems. I need God than the things that I do. I need God than my voice. I need God than this program. I need God than the things I am creating. I need God than my technology, my strategies, my ambitions, visions, and I need God than my plans in life. I need God than hold i have set for myself i need god and my thoughts i need god i need god more than the things i am capable of doing i need god lord i need you more than any other thing you must be the center of this picture you must be the focus of my sight give me sight so i can see i don't want to just look with my eyes i want to see with your sight lord jesus take me up and let me see with your touch let me see with your sight hold my hand hold my hand hold my hand i just want you to hold me when you hold me i will not go away from your presence i will not be carried off i will not be taken astray hold me hold me hold my brother who is listening hold my sister who is listening hold us lord jesus we don't have it all together but when you hold us we will be fixed well we will be fixed in a perfect way father we don't have it all together so we want you to hold us just like a baby is helpless until the mother just cuddles her and hold her lord jesus hold us hold us hold us we have no other pillar than you we have no other anchor than you we have no other support but hold us hold us lord jesus help us let your grace take us there let your grace take us there we need to carry on with your word we will carry on we will do more by the grace of, our, of the lord do more by the grace of the lord do more not because you got it all but the power of the lord will push you there ah so you will come in all confidence you come in all boldness and with your courage and say i'll do it i'll do it because of the lord who strengthens me do it because of the power of god that is with you do it do it do it child of god do it it's time for us to do it it's time for us to just say lord i am ready use me for this move use me for these great works uh, the Lord will use us. The Lord will take charge of us. Our anchor is always in the Lord God that we serve. Father Lord, we hope in you. We hope in you. Let our hope continually be in you. And you know, there are things going on. There are a lot of things that uh, is try, trying to compete our attention uh, with God's attention. But we want to give on to the Lord. We want to maintain a focus. Maintain your focus, child of God, if you can hear me. I just want to tell you, maintain your focus. Maintain your attention on the Lord. Don't let anything become a, a confusion to you. Don't be confused by what you hear, by what you see, by what people. Don't be too much impressed with the things that others are doing. Accept the things that are of the Lord. Accept the spiritual things that you, you always depend on. I don't want to depend on the flesh. I don't want to depend on the worldly things. I want to depend on the spiritual things that will always be there. That will always be available. I want to have my possession laid up in heaven. Laid up or, or above. Not just here. So the things that we are doing, not just for this place. We are doing them so that in the end, there will be a better place for us. There will be a better place. We will end well. We will end her well by the power of the Lord. Child of God, we got this power. We got this power to shine on. We are shining on in the beauty. We are shining on in the glory. We are going on with the victory. <laughs> we are going on with something, all right? Don't feel we are nothing. Don't feel there's nothing at stake. Don't feel that we don't have anything. But God is God. And every other voice, every other negative voice will be silenced because of our sake. And he will make sure things work together for our good.
I want to prophesy unto you that all things will be made well for your marriage. All things will be made well for your business. For your business sake, all things will come together and be well with you. For your ministry, all things will be made well. You will be made well. You will be made well. You will be anchored in the direction of the Lord. You will be anchored in the direction of the Lord. I love that. So that you will be walking in the ways of the Lord. You know, it is not our will is not our plans that must stand but the counsel of the lord oh the counsel of the lord must stand and rule in our lives we have the counsel of the lord lord jesus your your word must stay ahead your word must be first <laughs> Let the word of God be first in your life. Let the word of God be first when you wake up in the morning, when you wake up to see a brighter day, to see the day, to see your family. It's good to say hello. It's good to say hi. Good morning. But let the word of God be first. Think of the word first. Don't think of the problems first. The problems are not superior to the word of God. Your troubles are are not the champion. <laughs> they have not got the final say to your life because the word of God stands forever. The word of God is life. If we have the word of God, we can do all things because nothing was made without a word and not without a word was nothing made. So it means if I have the word, I can do all things. So, child of God, I want you to start with the word. Build with the word. Build with the word. Start your day with the word of God. Trust the word of God. Have faith in the word. Keep the word at your heart. Meditate on the word. Instead of thinking of the problem you went through, of the, the insult that you received, of the ill treatment that was meted onto you, why don't you use that time? Why don't you use that opportunity to meditate upon the word of God? Those things do not determine determine your future. Those things don't determine your destiny. Your destiny is not in those things. So I want you to have a different picture to the story. Have a different attitude to what people will do towards you. Yeah, hear me. Have a different attitude to what people will do towards you. Don't always face them uh, with, uh, with what is due to them. Have a different attitude. Have a different way See the picture differently. See things differently. And see it through the eyes of our Lord Jesus. That is why I want to say, I don't want to see and look with just with my eyes. I want to look with the sight of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, give me a sight of yours to look at things. Because you know what I've come to realize? I've realized that many things we are, we hold so dearly that we are so much impressed with. Uh, God to God, it means absolutely nothing god is not impressed mostly by the things we are so much impressed with and the things which we deem as not big as little things as as, as not important which we don't regard them and these are the ones god take them to a delight god really takes them seriously so people of god may we think as god thinks May we feel as God feels. May we see as God sees. May we do our things based on the prem premises of the Word of God. Outside the Word of God, we see uh, it, 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 things don't function. Outside the Word of God, because there are things the world can give you, except the Word of God. There are things the Word cannot prevent. There are things the Word cannot fight against, except having the word of god except with the word of god so may we not deny the word of god in any way but have access to the word may we pray with the word may we preach with the word may we greet even with the word sometimes when you meet your people just say hallelujah hallelujah child of god you may be going through something but i say hallelujah hallelujah i want to tell you hallelujah if you call me just say hallelujah sometimes i'll call you and you only thing you hear from me is the only thing you hear from me is hallelujah hallelujah i just want you to have a different attitude so i say hallelujah i just want you to have your marriage so hallelujah i just want you to have your baby so hallelujah hallelujah 
Hallelujah. I want you to have your money. Hallelujah. I want you to have your business running. So I want to shout on to you. Hallelujah. I want you to have a different attitude and keep your praise on. So I want to tell you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I meet you, I just want to tell you. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My child, my friend, my sister, my mama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to shout it. We don't have to be afraid to shout what it is. What is ours? That voice, uh, that word, that name. Oh, we have something that we can always run to. I love that. Children of God, we have a place we can always run to. We have somebody we can always run to. His arms are open wide and we can always run to him. We have a place we can run to. We have a place we can always go. We have a place that we can always go and have fun with the Lord. We can go and shop with the Lord. He's knocking and we want to say, Lord, come on in, come on in. There's a place we can run to. That's the hope. That's the hope. That's the hope. Yeah, that's what we have. We have something others don't have. We always have the Lord on our side. We always have the Lord interceding for us. We have Christ Jesus for us. So we have something that others don't have. We have something that is strictly made for us. Oh, we have something. We you have something. Don't pretend as if there is nothing that you have. You have something indeed. Something indeed that you have. There is something greater that you have. There is something mighty. There is something powerful that you have. You are not just what, it, what you think you are, but you are far more than that. <laughs> you are far more than that. You are far more than how you see yourself, even how you even think of yourself, how others even think of you. You are far more than that because God will do more things with you. God will do greater things with you. Greater things he will do and greater things he has done. And I want to tell you there is continuity with us. We have the power of continuity. We have the power of longe lo longevity, right? Longevity, that's the word. All right. So we have that power to claim and then carry on with the blessing of the Lord. We want to go with the blessing of the Lord. We don't want to go on with our technology, just by our technology, just by our inventions, just by the things we can do. But we want to go on and say, Lord, it is you that gave us the blessing to do this. We want to tell the Lord, it is you that you gave the power, the wisdom for us to do this. We don't want to come to a point where for our smartness, we don't need God anymore. We don't want to come to a point where for our technology, we don't need God anymore. We don't want to come to a point where for our marriage, we don't need God anymore. We don't want to come to the place where for our babies, uh, for our children and for our work, our business, our companies that we are building. Uh, we don't want to uh, depend on God anymore. And now we want to depend on the things that we have achieved for ourselves. I'm not saying don't do something for yourself. I'm not saying don't have a family. I'm not saying don't have a church or a ministry. I'm not saying don't have a work and a company. I just want to say, don't let these things take the place of God. Let God be fast. God doesn't care what you have. As much as he was, he's fast. As, as long as he's fast in your life. I learned that from Mama, Auntie Joyce Meyer. Auntie Joyce Meyer. It's my dream to meet Joyce Meyer in my lifetime. And I know God will help me meet her. Because I, I watch her every morning on TBN and I, I take a lot of inspiration from her word. And God is, sometimes God gives me a word and I will hear from her mouth. I said, wow, this is a confirmation of the word God gave me. So we, I have a lot of connection with that lady and uh, that special woman of God. So Joyce Maya, one day I'm going to meet you. But the point I want to come out is that don't let anything take the place of God. Not even the man of God, not even Auntie Joyce. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to listen to the man of God. It's good to come and listen to Apostle Kamu. It's good to tune in and watch what I am doing. But don't forget to tune in to God. Don't forget to hear the voice of God. Because he's the source. I am not the source. I am just a vessel. And God can use me to speak to you. But I want God to also speak to you. I want God to communicate with you. I want God to have a relationship with you. Don't only have a relationship with me here and just watch me and just like what I'm doing. No, no, no. That is not the, the ultimate goal. But what are we are driving home. We are driving home something. Because we want to drive home is that 
all this inspiration will help you connect where to God. All the inspiration you are filling in, all the inspiration that you are receiving, the word of encouragement will position you to also be in a place to hear from God and to do the will of God. But I want the will of God to manifest in your life. That is why I come here. And sometimes uh, I may be down myself. Sometimes circumstances may even pull me off not to come on the set to do the recording, to do the recording. But I just tell myself, Lord, I am a vessel. And if you will empower me, I can go and share your word. So I just need the empowerment from the Lord. I don't need so much. I don't need so much. Uh, when I come to read, when I come to uh, share the word, when I come to just speak with you, I don't need so much. I don't expect so much. I just need to be empty so God will fill me. So I come here empty and God force me as I reach out to you. So may God for, his, for you. May God for you. We may be empty at some point, but that is not the ultimate goal. The ultimate thing is that God is filling us. It's not about being empty, but what it matters is that God will fill my emptiness. If God will fill my emptiness, I don't, I'm not afraid to be empty. If God will fill me when I don't have money, then I, I know God is filling me with something that I don't have. I just want God to fill me. May God fill me with some power. So I will speak of his word with courage, with wisdom, with understanding. I just don't want to do anything on my behalf, but on God's account, in the Lord's power. I want to stand in the Lord's glory and victory. And come to you and share in the love of God. Ah, uh, the love of God is sweeter than any other thing. You know, this day, uh, I could have gone to anywhere, but I just chose to be here. I could have gone to do anything, but I just said, let me be here. Let me be here. I want to be in a place where God will use me. I want to be in a place where God will speak through me. So, child of God, God will use what you have. Whatever you have, just let it be availed unto the Lord. Avail it to the Lord. Make it available. Make it ready. Make it ready. Put yourself ready. Right? Keep on doing it. God is here well for you. And don't let anything, anything discourage you. Don't let anything put you in the fear. Put you in, in mistrust. Just carry on. And don't let anything put you in doubt when it comes to you and God. God is God and His word is faithful. His word is settled in heaven. Oh Lord, may you settle us even here on earth. Settle us so we will be a blessing to others. Settle us. If it is money that Lord you have to settle me with, I'm ready. I gotta take the money and make, make, make some news with the money and do some good news with it. <laughs> I can do good with money. Uh, it's not e only evil that you can use money for. We can do good, a lot of good with money, right? That's the ultimate goal. So what, I just want to drive something home now. Whatever God gives unto us, may we not corrupt it. May Should we use it for the good? Let us use what God blesses us with for good. I know so many people, God has blessed with a beauty. God has blessed you with a, or with a fame and with a connections and God has blessed you with so many things and corruption has come in, but not you. May you not corrupt what God has given you, but use it for the greatness, use it for good, use it for the glory, use it for the purpose, the will of the Lord. Use it, use it, use it, use it. Don't let anything say you can't do it. Don't let anyone say, hey, uh, I don't think you're up to this level, but it is not about you being at the level, but it is what God has said you should do. It is what God expects you to do. It's what God has written on your heart that you have to do this, my servant, my child. You have to do this and we have to respond, respond, respond. May you respond. Don't respond out of fear. Don't respond out of doubt. Respond in the faith. Respond with the word of God. And when situations come knocking your door, oh, like Jesus, respond with the word of God. <laughs> Jesus responded to the enemy and said, hey, 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 it is written, it is written, it is written. I've responded. I know it is written. For something you know will work for you. Yeah, something you know will work for you. So that is why we should not be ignorant of Knowing the word of God or also knowing the devices of the enemy. Yeah, we have to know. We have to know. Tell yourself, I have to know. I have to know. Yeah, I have to know. And what I know, I know it can be used for the good. 
The good will come from what you know. The good will come from what you have. The good will come from even your past, from even your story, even from your experiences, even from the encounter, that bad ordeal. Even the good will come from it. We believe in the turnaround that God has for us. We believe in the transformation of what God has for us. We believe in that we will not remain where we started from. We may remain on the same level, but we are going on levels. We are going on different dimensions. We are rising up and nothing can push us aside. Nothing can push us now. We won't rise up with the power of the Lord. You know, what I am doing, I'm not doing according to my own account. If God is in it, it will stand. I just need God to be in it. You just need God to be in that story, in that marriage, in that contract that you are signing, in that new apartment that you have got in for yourself. You just need God to be in it. That's all. Child of God, just let God be in it. That career, let God be in it. Your ambitions, your plans, your goals, let God have a space in it. You know, sometimes we, we, we make our resolutions, we make our plans, we make our to-do list, and we leave God on the item list. We don't put God in the picture. But put God back in the equation. Put God back in that strategy, and it will work for you. Don't just have the strategies others are telling you to use without hearing the voice of God, without putting God in the picture, without allowing God to also come on in. Let God be part of the story. Let God be part of your victory, of your journey. Let God be part of the journey. Go with the Lord. Go with the Lord. Go with the fire of the Lord. Go with the presence of the Lord. Go with the word of the Lord. Go with the power of the Lord. Go with the Son of the Lord. Go with the blood of Jesus. Go with the presence of the Lord. Just go with God. Go with God. Go with God. And He won't leave you. He won't forsake you. And He will be with you all the days of your life. So I just want to tell you, go with God, child of God. Stand up for the cross. Stand up for Jesus. Stand up for the church. Stand up for the body of Christ. Go on with the Lord. Move on with the Lord. Move on. Move, not because you have the, the car to move, but move with God. <laughs> move, move, not because you have freedom to go anywhere you want. But move with God. Oh, I love this one. You are moving, not because you can go anywhere, but you are restricted according to the power, according to the will of God, according to the purpose of God. There is a restriction over your life. So we are moving, not by our own account, not because we have a taxi, not because we have Uber, not because we have Pajaro, we have the best of car, uh, not because we have Pathfinder. I don't know the cars, but I'm just mentioning some. <laughs> Not because we have a bicycle, but you are moving because you're moving with the purpose of God. You're moving with the presence of God. You're moving with the word of God. So don't just move. Just don't just wake up and say, I'm going to do this. No, no, no. Go with God. Start with God. Let invite God in. You know, I said the other time that, you know, uh, just recognize God. Whether you hear from Him or you don't hear from Him, just say, Lord, I am doing this and I'm telling you, oh, uh, this one, you are my support. Oh. This one, you are my help. Oh. This one, you are the one I am depending on. Oh. This one, I'm not doing it by my own strength, oh Lord. This one, you have to help me. Oh. This one, this one, this one, this one. For this one, Lord, I can't do it alone. Oh. And this one and all the things that I have, oh, I I just lay before you, oh, I just commit them to you, oh Lord. This one do for me, oh I just say this one, oh Lord. <laughs> this one, oh this one, this one, and all the other things I have, oh Lord, I am giving unto you, oh I'm just telling you, do for me, oh it's only you you can do, oh Lord. I mean I don't have strength of my own, oh me, I can't do things without you, oh. So I am coming to you, oh Lord. Do for me, oh. Do for me, oh. This one, oh. This one is my prayer, oh. This is my prayer. Lord, you know my heart, oh. Lord, you know my strength, oh. Lord, you know how far I can go. And this is what, Lord, I am bringing before you, oh. This is my prayer, oh. Take it, oh Lord. 
Please answer me, O Lord. Answer me, O. Help me, O Lord. Speak to me, O Lord. I want to hear your voice, O Lord. I want you to speak for me, O Lord. I don't have a lawyer, O. You are my lawyer, O Lord. I don't have a judge, O Lord. Me, I don't have a family doctor, O. You are my healer, O. I don't have a family doctor. Me, I don't have somebody who cooks for me, O. You must feed me, O Lord. Me, my bank account is not. Three digits, so oh. it is not four digits, so oh. Lord, you can increase me, oh. You you can do the things nobody can do for me, oh Lord. Me, this is my humble prayer. Oh. This is what this is what I am asking, oh Lord. Help me, oh help me, oh Lord. Lord, you are my shepherd, oh you are my shepherd. Lord, you are my cover, oh you are my cover, oh you are my defender, oh you are my defender, oh. You are my source, oh. I don't have any other source. I have no other God, oh. You are the only God I have, oh. Lord, help me, oh. If you don't come to my rescue, nobody is here, oh. Nobody even listens to me, oh. Nobody is ready to help, oh. It's only you I depend on, oh. Only you I am trusting, oh. You always said I should trust you, oh. So me, I'm trusting you, oh, Lord. Me, I'm trusting you. You always says, I should pray and you answer me. Lord, me, I'm praying you, me, I'm praying. Lord, your word says, by the word of God, we will stand. So, Lord, me, I want to stand on the word, oh, I want to stand on the word. Child of God, God loves you. It shouldn't take so much. It shouldn't take so much of eloquence. It shouldn't take so much of preparation. Oh, I love it. It shouldn't take so much of preparation before you can come before God. Oh, it shouldn't take so much of eloquence. You shouldn't know all the scriptures before you can pray to God. Oh, it shouldn't take all the prayer topics that you should pray before you can pray. Oh, if it is one prayer topic that you can pray, please pray. Oh, <laughs> if it is one that you can do, please do. Oh. It should not be happening that you should do everything, oh. If it is one you can do, please do that one, oh. That one can help, oh. <laughs> Child of God, God loves you, oh. I'm saying God loves you too much, oh. Too much, oh, when a God, he loves you, oh. <laughs> our God, he loves you, oh. Too much, oh. I know. You know, God came to our level, oh. He was above and he came to the level of us. He came to, he took on flesh. And he was just like us, oh. May Jesus, he start and ate with us, oh. Jesus was here with us, oh. And he's coming again, oh. Jesus is coming again, oh. He will come again, oh. And Jesus, he's with you, oh. He's with you. Do you know? He watches over you, oh. Jesus is ready to accept you, oh. Anything you have done, he doesn't really care, oh. He just says, you call on him and he will answer you, oh. Are you calling him on him? He just wants you to come on to him all. It doesn't need too so much. He has fought the fight for you. He has won the battle for you. He carried the cross for you all. It is you, it is you, it is you now. It is you. It is for you. Ah, uh, now God came down to die for you. Our God, our Lord, our King Jesus, our Savior. It is you now that he came for. All. So he needs you all. He needs you. He needs you. Uh, he want to be with you all. He's ready for you all. He can change the story all. He can change even your heart all. <laughs> he can turn things around all. He can make all things happen for good all. Yeah. He can change the bad to good all. He can use even the good or the bad. He can use the bad for good all. No, nothing can stop him all. Not to a failure, not to a past, not that the, the that thing that you did can stop him from touching you, from moving to you. Nothing can delay his time. If it is time, it is time. And I just want you to respond to him. Please respond to the Lord. Oh, respond to now, Jesus. Oh, uh, Jesus, when I call you in and he's calling and knocking, oh, he's knocking, oh, oh Jesus is knocking, oh, every day, oh, <laughs> he's doing this every day, oh, you know, every day, every day, every day, and uh, we want to live for him alone, oh, 
It's good we have this and this and that though. But it is Jesus that we want to live for. Eh? It is for him that we want to live for. It is just him. It is just him all. So, <laughs> this is the message I brought though. This is the message I brought. I me, mean, I came in empty oh, but he's filling me oh. He's filling me. And I hope he's filling you too oh. He must fill you. We are not fed. We are not fed because our mothers and, and wives and, and our daughters, our sisters, they cook for us. Oh, no, 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 no. We are fed because God gave us the word of God. He gave us his word. We are fed. We, we taste of his goodness. We taste on the, the food on his table for what he has prepared for us. Jesus is a shepherd. Why? <laughs> The Lord will help you. Why? The Lord will see you through. Why? Okay. God will help you. Why? Please. All is not lost. Why? All is not gone. Why? Don't feel you are rejected. Why? Oh, don't feel sad. Why? Don't feel everything is lost. Why? Bibianian say, why? Nothing has spoiled totally. Nothing spoiled. Nothing spoiled. If God is in the picture, nothing spoiled. <laughs> if God is in the story, nothing's poor. If God is here, nothing's poor. If God is for us, nothing's poor. If God will go before us, nothing's poor. If God will still be in the picture, nothing's poor. If God will heal us, nothing's poor. If God is our comforter, nothing's poor. If God is our defender, nothing spoil. If God is the only savior, and beside no other one, and no other creature, then nothing spoil. If the hand of God is upon us, then nothing spoil. If God is standing, stretched armed with a sword for us, speaking on our behalf, nothing spoil. If the blood of Jesus speaks for us, ah, I love this one, then nothing is poor. If the blood of Jesus is our redeemer, if the blood of Jesus is the consecration agent, if the blood of Jesus is a speaking voice and it speak good things than the blood of Abel, then nothing is poor. If you can read your scripture, then nothing is poor. If you can keep the word of God in your heart, nothing is poor. If you can pray, nothing is poor. If one prayer that you can pray, nothing is poor. If it is one minute you can pray, nothing is poor. If it is 10 minutes, if it is one hour, if it is 30 hours, nothing is poor. If it is three days, nothing is poor. If it is one month, four month, you can pray, nothing is poor. If you can share the word with somebody and, re and be happy for doing so, nothing is poor. If you couldn't have what you wanted to have and you still have life, nothing is poor. I just tell you nothing is poor. If you didn't receive the touch and now you have the word of God, nothing is poor. If you didn't receive any prophecy from anyone, nothing is poor. All other people will reject you and you still have Jesus with you, then nothing is poor. If no one will help you and Jesus says, I am here for you, then nothing is poor. If no one will love you, you are single, you are not married, you were married, your husband ran away, your husband rejected you, your wife ran away even with your kids, and you are now alone, nothing is poor. Jesus is for you. Remember who loved you first. Nothing is poor. Pick yourself up. You have life. All these things, we won't go to heaven with them. We won't go to heaven carrying our babies along, carrying our wives along, carrying our husbands along, carrying our sisters along, carrying our fathers and mothers and our siblings and our family members and church members and friends and sympathizers and partners and everyone. No, we won't carry them there. They are also going to have their own account. Nothing poor, nothing poor. If you cannot see your way through clearly and you can just read the word of God and depend on the word of God, nothing's poor. If 
your eyes are not open you can't see all that is going around you can't even hear the voice of god and you can trust in one word of god that you know nothing small you don't have to have everything if you have one and that one is working for you nothing small nothing small don't let anyone intimidate you don't let anyone drive you crazy nothing small nothing small pick yourself up you have dominion mandate you have the control you have power be courageous nothing small god is with you go on do it march on in freedom don't let anything entangle you don't let anything chain you don't be chained by anything nothing small move on move on move on child of god nothing small pick yourself up you got what it takes you can do it god trusts you that's why he created you he know he knows what he's gonna do he knows the things you can do he knows the things he has put in you he knows the investment he has done in you so don't let anything weigh you down don't let anyone weigh you down not in sport step ahead and go on go on go on onward go towards the dream run towards the dream not in sport shake off shake off the dark shake off the fear shake off any disappointment any anything that draws your energy away stay out of that move on and draw closer to god draw your source from god draw your help from god you have to draw from god draw from the source the source is your god if you know god is to if you still have god if you still trust in god if you still have your faith in god if a faith has not fallen and you still have your faith with you nothing small move that faith move on with the faith trust the process of god trust the timing of god trust the word of god trust in the miracles of god sometimes you will not have it at the time you wanted to have it but god will show you the miracle of when to have it you know sometimes god will not do it for you because he wants you to see some miracle he wants you to see some some things some turn around some some moves we need to see some moves you have to have some encounter there are things i wanted to do i couldn't do it on the onset but on the ninth hour when when all hopes were gone god said nothing's poor i'm here i'm for you i'll do it for you i will help you do it nothing's poor nothing's poor but we are going on we are going on strong strong nothing's poor we are moving on strong towards the goal towards the dream to the calling to our purpose we are marching on as soldiers of the cross nothing's poor god is here you have God with you. The Lord is watching over you. I just told you, nothing is for God is for you. Hey, move on, move on, move on. Move on, move on in power, move on in honor. Nothing is for, nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. God is for us, not against us. We have an anchor. We have a power in the Lord. Our source is God. If my source is God, I don't care what is lost. I love it. If my source is God, I don't care what is lost. If your source is God, don't be afraid of what you lost. If your source is God, you know you can have more. So don't be afraid what you missed, what you lost along the way. Let God be your source. And that is enough. If God is your source, nothing is poor. Don't let the enemy feel they have won the victory. Because Jesus, I know one, I know one thing. One thing I know that Jesus won the victory for me. So nothing should make the enemy feel they have gotten the best of you. They aren't getting any best of you. Jesus won the victory for you. Nothing's poor. Move on. March on. Strive on to the victory. You got what it takes. You are marching on strong. Do it. Do it. Even in the midst of the fear. Even in the midst of the, of the confusion. Do it. In the midst of uncertainty. Hey, do it. You got it. You got what it takes to do it. The light of God will shine on you. The light of Jesus will shine on you. The word of Jesus will be brought to you. And this is the word of Jesus. This is the word of God I'm bringing to you. 
that nothing spoil. Carry on and do. Stay, stay strong, stand strong, march on with a power. Move on. You are a vessel of God and God will use you to amaze this world. They aren't seeing anything from you yet. They aren't seeing anything from you yet. Uh, there's more God to come for your way. There's more God is going to flow in our way. We are going to meet the goodness of the Lord. I'm going to meet the Lord on my way. Ah, I may be like Paul, but I'll meet Jesus on the way. I'll meet Jesus on the way to Damascus. In, on the way to the, to the, to the field of death, I'll meet Jesus on the way. <laughs> you may be thinking, I am, I am done, uh, that I am, oh, I am, I am, comp I am oh, done, I am finished. No, 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 I am meeting Jesus. <laughs> I am meeting Jesus. And when I meet Jesus, my situation will change. When I meet Jesus, my problems, they will vanish. When I meet Jesus, I will see a light. And this darkness cannot comprehend the light. I just want to meet Jesus, that's all. You just need to meet Jesus. Uh, in that problem you are going through, in the things that you are facing, I just tell you, you just need to meet Jesus. When you meet Jesus, it's okay. That is enough. Just meet Jesus, that's all. And you be brave, it is not that too much, Bia. It is not that too plenty, Bia. It is not too overwhelming, Bia. It is not too, too complex, Bia. Just meet Jesus. Don't let anyone, uh, make things too complicated for you. You just need to meet Jesus. I'm just telling you, this is the word of God that God has put in me. Uh, I came in empty and look at what I am receiving. So it is not too much of a big deal. Receive Jesus. Meet Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Call on Jesus. Mention his name. Believe in Jesus. Have faith in Jesus. Receive Jesus. That is enough. If people will not receive you, don't worry. You have received Jesus. And Jesus has received you. You don't have to have everybody behind you. You don't have to have everybody at peace with you. You don't have to have everybody, you know, ready to support you. <laughs> if everybody is, is here for you, oh, fine, hallelujah. But if they are not with us, that do not deny us to sing our hallelujah. If things will not go well, that do not deny me of singing my hallelujah. They won't have the best of us. That is what I want to say. <laughs> the enemy will not have the best of you. And that is enough. That is period. There are no two ways about that. No question about that. The best of you is for God. Not for doubt. Not for the problem. Not for the trouble. You got to stand strong. God is here. You imagine, you know, sing a song, sing a song. You have a melody. You have some beat. You have some rap. You have some verses. Put on together and run this race and run with the blessings. Put on, put things together. Fix things together. Put the little bits, the bits. God is interested in the bits. Not just the match, not just the big things, but God is even looking for your bits to put them together. You know, the so problem is we are afraid to start on a low pace. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You shouldn't have it all fixed completely. Come to Jesus and he'll work on you. Uh, for me, uh, I didn't come knowing everything. I came in Jesus working on me. I came in, you know, I like I come on this program uh, with nothing really. But as I am on the program, then Jesus works on me. As Jesus works on me, then he brings out the best in me. Uh, when you let Jesus work on you, if Jesus will work on you, the best will come out of you. I love this. If Jesus will work on you, then the best will come out of you. So, child of God, I just want you to avail yourself so Jesus can work on you. I want you to be ready for the Lord Jesus. He has to work on you. He has to do some work on you. You know, if somebody puts up a building, that is not the end. They still do some maintenance, you know, time to time. So that this building will stand strong. Then Jesus is doing the same thing with us. After he builds you, after he receives you, 
after he brings you in the picture after he brings you closer to him then he keep on building you then he keeps on maintaining you so the work is not all done at one go it is no one time experience it's no one time encounter it is a daily walk it is a daily walk with him it is a daily assessment it is a daily stand with jesus you know we have to keep on walking with jesus the enemy wants you to deny jesus he wants you to say i don't know him i jesus ah uh, no 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 but hey choose jesus choose jesus all right over the pain over the hate over the problem over the disappointment over the public ridicule over the shame choose jesus jesus chose something bigger than the shame on the cross he chose us he chose the mission the purpose of god for humanity so he chose even the shameful part of the cross and carried it so carry jesus just as he carried the cross for you <laughs> carry jesus march on with jesus you march on strong with the power of the lord you got what it takes to do it and uh, i just want to tell you he renews your strength each and every morning he gives you strength those who wait on the lord as you wait on the lord as you go with the lord as you go with a picture with a mindset the lord i am going with you i am going with you oh i am traveling with you oh this journey i am making i am going with you i am i am steering the wheel with you oh i am driving with you you those who are driving me i don't know how to drive i must confess i'm not going to learn it <laughs> but if you can drive if i driver tell the lord I am driving with you all. If you're riding a bike, I am riding with you all. Whatever you're doing. If you're flying a plane, Lord, I am flying this plane with you all. Lord, I am eating. I'm inviting you all. I am preaching. Lord, give me the word all. Inspire in me. Uh, put the spirit of the Lord of utterance, the spirit of utterance in me all. The spirit of remembrance, or oh. the spirit of favor, to know what to say, or oh. me, I, I don't know how to how to speak, or. Oh. Hmm? Most of the people God used, they gives that excuse, they, or they gave that notice to God. Most is a lot. Me, I don't know how to speak, or oh. so me, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling me, I don't know how to do it, though. Mary said, "Hey, let me, a virgin, oh, you want to use me, a virgin, oh." Okay. You see. So most most of them. Jeremiah said, Me, I'm a child oh. for me, Lord, me, I'm a child oh. Yeah, I'm just a teenager. Oh. God said, Yeah. You, you now that I want to. Oh. Maybe you now. Me, I know you. Oh. He said, Me, I know you. I know what I've done in you. Oh. So don't worry, you. Oh. I'll take you. Oh. May God take you. May God help you. May God see you through. May God honor you. May God prepare a place for you. May the Lord give you what you need and, and may the Lord bring the best out of you. As he works on you, the best will come out of you. Our Lord will make sure you experience the best with him. You have it, you got it, and you're going to stand on the word of the Lord and do wonders and do exploits and manifest his greatness on every side. Child of God, manifest the greatness of the Lord like never before. I want you to manifest the greatness of the Lord because God has given you what others don't have and you have a special feature of the Lord. You have a unique character of God. You have a unique feature of God that it must manifest through you. So if the things God has placed you do not manifest, it means that you didn't show that side of God to us. Yeah, that is the thing. If you don't do what God said you should do and, and that uniqueness doesn't come from you, then it means that that side of God we needed to see didn't come to light, uh, didn't come to bear, didn't manifest. Because the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God and the children of God. Are you a child of God? God is waiting for you to manifest the thing he's put in you. That side he put in you, uh, his path he put in you. He wants you to manifest it. And I just want to say, be bold like a lion. March on strong and do it. Nobody, nobody 
will take your place which God has planted. God has planted you. All right. And when God plants something, he wants some, some fruit to come out of what he's planted. Oh, I love this rima. God is telling me he has planted us. And when he plants us, he expects fruits to come from that plant. So don't let God be a farmer who go harvest nothing out of the plants, out of the things that he planted, out of his stocks. When he go check his stocks, may he ha uh, find some returns. God has planted you. He told me. He whispered to me. Yeah, I'm not speaking because I know all. But as I come here, God speaks through me. I'm a vessel. And anytime I come, I come empty. Then he forced me with a word. So he says, we, he is like a farmer. He's a farmer. And he's planting each and every one. And he's going to harvest something from each. So different crops, different fruits he expects. So what is God going to harvest from you? That is the question you have to ask yourself. What is God going to take out of me? Uh, going to find from my, 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 my harvest or from my, my tree, my plant? May God find something from you. May God harvest some fruits and some good fruits. Yeah, good ones, good ones. Bumper harvest. I want God to have bumper harvest from you. Because of you, God will chop some money. <laughs> God will spend some money. God will have some bags. You know, he will harvest his uh, fruits in huge containers and store them. So in 10 years, he will, he will have stocks even after 10 years. After 20 years, he will still have stocks because there was a bumper harvest from you. After 50 years, God will still count on your harvest. Oh, I love that. My brother, my brother, my sister, my sister, mama, my mama, 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 papa, papa, uncle, uncle, auntie, auntie, grandma, grandma, grandpa, grandpa. I want to tell you, I just want to say, keep and keep and keep the praise. Oh.